Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be doing a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 50 on the CSET, Multiple Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. We're going to use this one here to explore um, some ideas in data analysis involving mean, median, mode, and range type of questions. First, uh, why don't we just read it over. I'll read it over. We'll solve it and then we'll go into those ideas. All right, so let's look at number 50. It says, use the table below to answer the question that follows. We're given a table. The table has a lot of information in it. We see it, it says, uh, it gives us the months of the year, and it gives us actual uh, inputs, data points. Data point is a piece of information, a number value that has meaning. So we have all this, these data points here. And then we're asked a question. It says, the table above gives the mean temperature for each month of the year. What is the range in mean temperatures during this year? We have these two words here. We have mean and we have range. And I want to make sure we're really clear on the difference between mean temperature and the range in the mean temperatures. When we're trying to find the mean in a, a set of numbers, think of mean as being equal to the average. So mean is equal to average. And when you're trying to find the average, you add up, you find the sum of all your data points, of all the data, sum of all the data, and then you divide it by the number of data points you have. Range refers to the distance between the lowest and highest temperatures in this data set. So we think about the, the low and the high well, the lowest point in this data set, the lowest temperature, the smallest temperature is 28. And the highest temperature, the hottest month, average uh, month, was July, was 78. And we're looking for the range, the distance between the low and the high. And when you do that, you find out that there's a range of 50 degrees. Okay, so median is the sum of all the data points divided by the number of data points. Range is the difference between the highest data point in your set and the, and the lowest data point in your set. That gets us to the answer A. Let's just add on a few more real quick. Let's do median. Sometimes you see it says, what is the median temperature? Well, median temperature would require you to take these po points on the table and order them from least to greatest. So I'll just do a few of them. I'll do 28, 29, 35, right? That would be this one here. That's next. 38, 44, 47. It's not in order on the table. It's in order from least to greatest. Let's just stop there for a moment. I'm trying to find the number. We cross out the first and last. We keep going. We get to, let's say we get to two numbers in, our, in the middle of our set. If we're trying to find the median and it's, and it's, it's two numbers. We take the two numbers, we add them up, and we divide by two. I think when you when you you add these up, you get like seventy what seventy three. You divide seventy three by two, you get I don't know thirty six point five. So thirty six point five would be the median temperature in this data set here. All right, and the last one is mode. When you're thinking about mode, mode is the number that appears the most in your data set, and we don't have that here. There's no number that repeats. If, for example, 28 appeared twice in, on this table, you could say 28 is the mode. It's the number that appears the most in your data set. But in this case, we don't have a mode. So we have a review of mean, median, mode, and range. Team, this is Chris Abraham. These are all very important uh, ways to analyze data. Good stuff to review. Team, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.